everybody I guess this is a uh, video blog what number three Wow what a week it's been um, I, uh, I haven't got a whole lot done on the record yet uh, sickness has been going around a restaurant I got a touch of it but I'm still actually on my feet um, so I've been covering a lot of shifts I've been pretty much scheduled to work seven days straight if this doesn't take me out too um, but uh, last last journal I talked about uh, Scott Colby's uh, DIY guitar slide and uh, his tutorial. I think I put a link in the comments for that. I made one. This is a bottle of Pinot Reggio from work that uh, we uh, sold all the wine, so I kept the, the uh, empty and followed his tutorial with a couple of tweaks and mods. Um, I, uh, I didn't use a cigarette lighter because I couldn't find one. I used boiling water and then used the cold tap water to, uh, to shatter it. I had the clean fracture and uh, came out great. Um, works really great on this crappy old guitar I got. Uh, cable sucks more than a guitar does actually. This thing is a, uh, a better sounding guitar than I remember, which is kind of funny. But uh, so I got a slide. I think everybody uh, has to accessorize their gear no matter what budget point they are. And uh, this one is a zero budget, so fumbling around the trash bins is uh, as close as I get. Speaking of uh, budget, though, I want to ask something. And uh, get some feedback from you guys. I hope uh, hope you'll give me some honest answers here. Uh, maybe I'm just feeding the trolls, but I, I set out to make this record on a zero budget um, zero budget challenge. And what you just heard was that guitar through a $350 uh, Fender Superchamp X2 2 amp. Uh, I've owned it for a few years. It's it's been my number one gigging amp since 2012. I've lost count of the shows it's done. It's it's just been a phenomenal piece of equipment for me. Sounds great. Didn't cost an arm and a leg, but it's over half the cost of the acoustic guitar on this record. Uh, it's more than the microphones cost. It's more than the computer's worth. Should I use it? Uh, should I use it on this uh, project or not? Uh, we're trying to keep things using equipment that you guys would have laying around that the average working musician would have. This is kind of an average working musician's amp, I suppose. But is it right? Uh, I don't know. Um, the alternative I came up with that, again, would be something maybe folks would have laying around. I've got this iPhone 4S. I don't know if I can show that up. It's got a cracked screen. Um, I don't know if that's turning up or not. I think it's just showing up how dirty the glass is. Um, it runs GarageBand, which has guitar amp simulation in it, and uh, reverb and other things. Uh, I can use this PV amp kit, which is an adapter that plugs in the headphones input. Uh, guitar goes in this quarter inch, which would be tapping off the mic input, and then it goes stereo out for your headphones. Or in my case, I could do a uh, stereo line into the back of the interface. And that would give me the amp sound 
essentially. Um, I don't know. Uh, the phone, back when it was brand new, was pretty expensive. I think it was probably more expensive than all the gear combined. But now, uh, these things are a drug on the market in pawn shops. You just can't hardly seem to get them to move. And with this one having cracked up glass, it's basically a paperweight. So, should I use this and kind of go like a 21st century musician? Or should I go old school and use a tube amp? Again, the tube amp costs a lot of money. Uh, this phone uh, was basically discarded uh, because the battery just has no life to it and uh, I was due for an upgrade. This is like 30 bucks to go and buy. I filled out some kind of uh, survey and got a gift certificate or something that paid for it. Uh, I don't remember paying anything for it. I think maybe I gave like the tax on it or something like that. Um, so I don't know. What should I do? Should I just stick with uh, old school tactics or should I go uh, kind of new uh, technology? I'd have pedals. I'd have reverb. I'd have delay. Uh, I've got some built-in effects on the amp. But I don't have a pedal board in the budget, so I'm almost siding with this one. Um, but the tones won't be raw, organic, whatever, uh, whatever buzzword. Uh, so I don't know. You tell me what to do. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm working, like I said, seven days straight out right now. I don't know when I'm going to get much time to uh, record vocals, but I have been doing a little bit of playing on the couch, just kind of working up the pre-production uh, side of things, the arrangements, uh, trying to memorize the words of these songs, because a lot of them haven't been gigged out too much yet. So hopefully I can give a good, strong performance when I do have the time to, uh, to really critically play some music. But uh, like I said, I'm trying to figure out uh, the sound of things as I go. So far, we've added these, uh, these, <laughs> these slide. We've added these slide. And, uh, I don't know, I haven't restrung the guitar yet. I had a pretty good night at the tip jar Monday night, so I can afford it. But, uh, I haven't gone to a store and bought strings. So, that's where I am. This is the third blog, and it's run longer than I wanted anyway. So, I'll go ahead and shut up now and say goodbye.